everybody's going to screw something up. It's how you respond to the screw up, which is so important. A life lesson for many, a business practice for most. As Keith Wagan sits down in front of me with pages of meticulous notes, nine recorded phone calls, and he says a collective 20 hours spent on the phone, he felt making it right wasn't a priority to Duke Energy. I keep notes of everything. Well, I called on the, the 6th when the issue happened. I called on the 11th, on the 13th, on the 18th, fell back on the 25th. In July, Keith expected a bill of $100. Instead, Duke Energy withdrew close to 4000 I don't have $4,000 in my account to pay for things. The unexpected withdrawal left him with insufficient fund fees, an empty account. He had to float a loan to afford other bills and eventually hired a lawyer to help him get the money back. I didn't want it to escalate to this. I'm only sitting here talking because it's so frustrating that they pulled the money out. Great, that's fantastic. It happens. But don't take four months to fix it. That's the, that's the infuriating part. All companies, all humans make mistakes. His biggest gripe was that the customer service took him so long to get an answer four months later. Right. Is that up to your standards here at Duke Energy? I think when we ultimately are looking back at the interactions that he had with our, our call center agents, we will certainly um, have areas that we can improve. Duke Energy says this was a layered issue. One that is an isolated incident. They admit there was human error on several levels from the reading of the meter to the billing and eventually to a system error that indicated a check had been sent to Keith. Because it takes two seconds for $4,000 to come out ACH'd out, mm -hmm. but you guys can't just ACH it back in or that's what he was told. If there's a, a refund in the amount over $500, it really has to go through our corporate headquarters and it's a lengthier process. Most Americans don't have an extra $4,000 to float. Um, obviously he accrued insufficient funds yeah. uh, for several occasions, money out of pocket for a lawyer. Um, these are just costs that most people can't afford. Mm -hmm. Are you guys doing anything, an extra step to, to make it right? Or? I can tell you that we have been in contact with him. I can tell you that we are still looking at any adjustments that still need to happen. Hopefully they can put checks and balances in place that will prevent this from occurring. Duke Energy serves 1.2 million customers, and they say this particular scenario has only happened a handful of times. They have vowed to use this as a learning experience to make adjustments like training their overall staff. Still, Keith wants to know what tools a customer has in the future if this ever happens again. If this happens to anybody else, a lot of other people, this would be a major issue. Any advice you can give to customers so that they know how to get a problem as big as this one solved yeah. quickly? I would say um, certainly uh, ask for supervisors at all costs. If Times like this, it, it feels really uncomfortable yeah. that uh, we didn't do as good as we could and we'll make sure that this is a good learning experience for us. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.